Okay, I think it's been about two weeks since I made a video, and uh, yeah, it feels longer though. It feels like uh, feels like my last video was pre-Halloween, and uh, and yeah, it was in the cemetery, and you know, I um, I, I just thought I would make uh, a funny video, and you know, kind of leave it off there. Um, anyway, so things are back to normal. I would mostly say, and uh, yeah, just uh, been doing the usual. Um, so I read this article the other day um, from the New Yorker uh, talking about image manipulation or video manipulation and the way those the the fields of those the way the field of image manipulation is progressing um, at somewhat of a like I, I don't want to be an alarmist but at somewhat of a, a scary scale. So you know I looked up uh, I looked up one video um, that they were talking about uh, synthesizing Obama. Um, which is also like a write-up from the University of Washington, I think. Uh, but I looked up the video that they were referencing, and uh, uh, it's very believable. It's very, very believable. I mean, you know, obviously there's work to be done, but I mean, um, the New Yorker article also referenced movies like uh, Jurassic Park and, and, and um, oh, I forget, uh, Jurassic Park and, you know, other big CGI films, you know, do they even call it CGI anymore? I have no idea. But, uh, yeah, so the, the realism, I mean, you know, you can tell that they're getting to a space that's, um, you know, extremely kind of um, good. Um, but I think what, what's even scarier is that the technology is being democratized. So, you know, anybody can do these things. And, you know, they referenced iPhones that can take, uh, you know, photographs that look as if they were taken by more professional cameras, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah, it's just democratizing, but I mean, it's that same democratizing that is, I think, is going to be somewhat of the undoing of attempts to control image manipulation um, or attempts to control image verification, whether that be governmental or private enterprise in a capitalistic setting or whatever. I mean, um, the control and the verification of imagery will... I, I think eventually have, and I know people think capitalism is dying, blah, 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 but I don't, I think capitalism isn't really dying. I think there will be new models of capitalism, if that makes sense. I'm not really in depth on that one, but um, I, I think there is space and there is a healthy space for competitive um, competitive tech in, uh, tech industries and uh, companies, et cetera, et cetera. And I think image verification, what else is it but uh, you know a technological uh, endeavor um, you know, so, uh, so that's, that's good. And, you know, there might be government control, there might be, uh, capitalistic control, private enterprise, but even then, I mean, the technology being as democratized as it is, you're still going to have to deal with, you know, unless things drastically change. And I know Facebook is coming out with their policies about who paid for what and where the, the ads came from, where and all this stuff, um, in light of the, 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 uh, Russian meddling in the U S elections, et cetera, et cetera. And even, even with issues say like with, uh, with, uh, private information with, uh, with, um, with, um, with that company, I, I, it's, uh, Analytica, something Analytica, but, uh, anyway, so, so yeah, there's, there's, there's some sort of like initial push to actually become, become less credulous when it, when it comes to the information you see on Facebook. But I mean, all of us do it. Like, I mean, we all, you know, not just Facebook, but Google as well. We, we have this, this kind of the streamlined kind of flow of information into our feeds. And, you know, some of us are better at it than others. Like, I mean, some people might be a little bit more um, attentive to where their news comes from and they might be a little bit more knowledgeable. So they might know exactly who said what. And if something is out of context or seems weird, they would pick it up like right away. Um, you know, and we still have these old school transmissions, right? We still have CNN and we still have ABC and Fox News, et cetera, et cetera. Those, those are, those are, those are big players. Um, not that, I'm not supporting Fox News, but I'm saying those are big players in, in, in terms of, uh, authenticity and, 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 uh, you know, um, accurate reporting. Um, although that's debatable, I'm sure for a lot of people. I mean, I personally, if you ask me, I like listening to a lot of the IDW people because I find that there's a, there's a, a mix of opinion, and um, uh, uh, there's there's a lot of disagreements. There's a lot of um, um, in-depth analysis, you know, with their long-form podcasts and things like that. Um, there's there's a real understanding of there's a real understanding of 
what you know what what the deeper issues are, what the underlying issues are, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that you know that that makes sense. But you know, so that's what that's why I like that. And you know, I even have people. I even follow people on my feed that uh, that I don't necessarily agree with on some basic basic things. Um, so so yeah, you so you you have this kind of feed of of your of Facebook, but you're also dealing with not just news entities. You're also dealing with friends you know you're dealing with you know and it, depending on how big your friends list is i mean i have 40 people on my friends list so i mean big deal but um yeah but i mean you know friends being on your, on your facebook page sometimes you're probably not going to go depending on how this image verification thing works and I, i'm not pretending to know how it's going to work i'm just saying you know um depending on how it works i mean i still see like this very democratic flow of fake images of fake Fake video and you know all this stuff, and I, I don't think that that's far fetched. Um, so, but I mean, even if you get to that point of not believing anything you see on Facebook, I think there's still kind of you know that Magritte painting, um, this is not a pipe or the treachery of images. Um, you still, you know, uh, you know, you look at that image and you still see a pipe, you know what I mean, even though it says plainly in French, this is not a pipe, um, you still look at it and you still see a pipe. Um, now you you get it. We all get it. It's pretty been it's it's been used and used over and over again. But like, what does that do on someone you know who probably doesn't have immediate resources available and who doesn't really even care for in depth analysis of imagery that they see coming across their social media feeds, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's it's kind of like this this viral bludgeoning of of fake imagery and what does that do to to a mind, even if you are very aware, it's a lie. Um, so I, you know, and then there's, you know, so that kind of leads into this other article I, I read, and it, it kind of coincided. I like when things like that happen, but um, it was on Church and State um, and org, and uh, the the article was referencing this uh, short-lived philosopher William Kingdon Clifford, and um, he, uh, you know, his ideas were kind of, um, I, I don't want to say radical, but I, I think at the time, the way they put it across, he was kind of irrelevant. Um, but he was talking about the morality of, 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 of vetting your beliefs, of, of basically the obligation you have to believe properly, to believe, and I know that sounds fascistic, but I mean to, but to, to believe in a way that is, that is, um, that is verified, that is, you know, um, and, and they talked, obviously, of the, of, like I just said, uh, about, you know, the, the act of sharing things. Like, I mean, it's one click and you share a video, you know what I mean? Whether it's real or not, blah, blah, blah. Um, but when it comes down to morality, and, you know, morality, when it comes to human beings, I don't want to say that it's a, a plethora of things. I, I think there is, I think there that there's a shared humanity that we have. Um, I don't think that, you know, the way we think about moral relativism, I don't think is a, a good way of thinking about morality. But given however you think about morality <laughs> in any society, in any country in the world, you will end up with people who actively and purposely, you know, deceive people. Um, they'll fuck morality, right? Like, I mean, you know, so I mean, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not far fetched to, to say that people will go to great lengths at times sometimes for reasons unknown uh, that that will that will uh, that will allow for them to to purposely mislead people um, so the thing is too I mean we live in a, in a kind of a global village and you're wondering how democratizing can this be considering that certain societies have and for the foreseeable futures have governments that disagree on very you know on very on very basic issues, you know, when it comes to, say, women's rights, or when it comes to gay rights, or when it comes to religious freedoms, or freedom of expression. Um, you look at countries like India, and China, and, uh, you know, Russia, and Chechnya, and, uh, you know, uh, Indonesia, um, you name it. Like, I mean, you know, you, you end up with this, like, again, again, I don't want to say this plethora of morality, but you end up with these very kind of weird systems of going about disseminating information, collecting information, um, you know, creating information. So when when I say democrat, democratizing image manipulation or image verification, like, I mean, how far is that democratizing reaching and being interne interconnected as the internet makes the world? I mean, where do these images end up and where, who uses them, who sees them, who believes them, you know? 
Um, and then what's the cost of image verification? Like, I mean, is it worth it? Like, am I going to pay five bucks to get an image verified? You know, I don't know. I don't know. But I, I think it's, a, it's not an issue that's going to be solved um, very easily. Um, I, at least I don't think. But I still have to say, I watched the Obama video um, and uh, the way they kind of synthesized what he was saying in different interviews and things like that. And it's very believable. It's very, very believable. It's just, uh, but you can still tell there's uh, something there that's, you know, kind of not real. But, uh, um, but you know, they're getting good. They're getting damn good. And, you know, Adobe, Adobe, Adobe's suite of products, I, I know they have this, uh, I, I forget what the name of it is now, but the, the audio uh, engineering program that Adobe has, I, I'm pretty sure that's probably getting very close to realistic. So, um, so yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's a way of moving forward. Um, in terms of reliance, when it comes to, um, when it comes to anything, like, I mean, the media, the, I mean, the, the internet is so big now, you know, back in the day, we just had TV, and, you know, I, I grew up in Trinidad, and, you know, we just had three channels on TV, and that was it, you know what I mean? Um, but now there's just so much out there, and TV is copying the internet, and the internet is copying TV. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, in terms of reliance, I don't know how self-reliant you can be in a world that now considers the internet an essential service. Um, and there's so much out there on the internet, too. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. Bye.